Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's another beautiful day. Say hello. Hello. Say hello, beautiful. <laughs> welcome to our newest member to the family. We got Miss Coco over here. But anyways, you guys, so I'm gonna bring you guys along today because we are going to be organizing my whole kitchen. Hopefully you guys are good right there. So yesterday, we went and we ordered a new, um, a new stove because the stove that we have right now is breaking on us and you know i use my my stuff a lot so i cannot have that um lately i've been having some issues kind of controlling the level of the heat and i know it's something that you know you can replace but you know what this stove it's um it's really old it's it's well it's only like five years old since we've been in this house so i think it was just time you know to upgrade because that stove it's a little cheap um and i know you can fix you know the top whatever it's broken i mean it still works the oven still works, everything works, but um, I'm just having some trouble because it's weird because this stove only has one big, um, uh, what is that called? Uh, the, the mecha, you know, it only has one big one. So like every, like I use that one mainly because obviously like my pots are big and that's the only one that fits um, with my, with my pots and stuff. So it's weird, but um, we just got a new one. So I'm going to be getting it delivered today actually. Um, between five to eight i know it's weird because it's so late at that time but that's the time they gave us so i'm excited because we, okay so let's go back if you guys uh know um i mentioned my previous vlog that i wanted that we were looking into selling the home our home and you know and getting a new one and just do all that good stuff but uh, we're still kind of debating, you know, because I don't want to get rid of this house. This is like our first home, you know, this is where my kids are growing and I don't know, this, I just don't want to get rid of it, but I don't know, it's, we will see. So for now, I, we were looking into selling and then we were also looking into remodeling, you know, like the whole kitchen, remodeling, remodeling everything. And I mean, that's with remodeling. The good thing is that, you know, we're just investing and putting back into our home. And I mean, we're not going to lose anything. But um, so I don't know We're we're still kind of debating on that because obviously this is not the home that we are planning on staying. You know, um, I do want a, a new modern a new home and just a bigger I don't know i just want my dream home this is not my dream home that's what i'm trying to say but i mean for now this is where we're living so so yeah so we are going to upgrade the 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 stove and our microwave we got those two new new um appliances so we should be getting them delivered today and then the the what is it the uh, refrigerator the refrigerator i am planning on upgrading it as well you know in the next couple months if anything um you can go take her over there okay. so that's what we're planning on doing i mean this we bought this refrigerator at the same time that we got our home so it's brand new and nothing's wrong with it but you know because like i said we did upgrade a whole oven and our whole stove so we i want to my appliances to match everything so so yeah so right now we were talking about you know like the cabinets because i want like white modern kitchen but um obviously if we if we plan you know on upgrading it's gonna be a couple thousand dollars so, I mean, I don't know, we're still trying to debate on that. And then with that, it comes, like, changing everything, you know, like the whole lights, everything. We have to change the whole thing, the countertops, everything. So, we're still trying to debate, you know, whether um, upgrading it or just wait, you know, until we uh, move to a new home. But, yeah, you guys, that's what we're doing. And for my... My cabinets and stuff, you know, because I have a lot of my spices and my cabinets are a whole disaster. So I am planning on, you know, reorganizing everything. Can you give me those, babe? So yesterday I went to Walmart and I've been wanting, I know I'm pretty sure, you know, you guys have seen like the whole organizing pantries and all that. Me, I don't have a pantry like that. Like I have cabinets. So I wanted to do like the whole reorganizing like the cookies and snacks and doing everything like that in different containers. But like I said, I just have cabinets. So I'm going to just start on my other cabinets, you know, where I have my spices, my flour, my rice and whatnot. So yesterday I went to Walmart and I bought these little containers that I'm going to be throwing all my, my pantry stuff or on here. So I, this one, this, I bought two of these and then two of the other big ones. So this one just comes with four small, medium, 
Oh no, this one's just three. It's just three of them. Okay. Can I have the other one, the big one? So this one has like three, three little containers. And I'm just going to uh, move like my flour, my sugar, my chiles. Um, oh, let me see. This is the other big one. So I bought two of these and two of the little ones at Walmart. So I didn't have to wait for shipping and all that because right now shipping is a little, it's taking forever to get our packages and stuff. So this one's the big one. And I was, I went looking for like the spices, you know, for all my spices because I wanted to put them like in little co containers. Um, but I don't know, like the ones that I saw at Walmart, they were $2 each, but they don't come with the little labeling, you know, and I don't want to, I don't want it to look so tacky. So I didn't want to do it myself, like as for buying the stickers and just printing, printing them on them, you know, I don't want it to look super tacky. So I think I'm just going to wait for Amazon for that. So these ones are like the big containers. I think it has like the big one, the medium, and then the small one. Yeah. So I got two of those and then two of the little ones. So I think I'm going to have enough room or enough storage for my my stuff in my pantry. So that's what we're going to be doing today, you guys. Like I said, I have to get my, my kitchen still and my refrigerator out. And um and yeah and i'm just going to take advantage you know of moving everything so i can clean everything um but that's what we're doing today so i hope you guys find this video interesting if you like this type of video you know please give me a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family so come on let's get going all right guys so i'm gonna bring you guys along and show you guys what we're gonna be working with today so we're gonna be working in this right here so this is where i have all my spices you know like just my my baking goods my cooking goods my pastas oils and whatnot on this side i just have like my flour my sugar my can i don't really use much can this is just like the basics you know like the my must-haves but i don't really use canned food um and over here this is when lewis was in his little dieting journey he has a lot of that and we have a lot of that and i use a lot of flour but by the way i need to restock on my flour i just went through two um, packages of flour this is like where i have all my flour and as you can see it's low stock i don't have no more flour no good and over here i have like all my little baggies of spices my garlic this is where i have to clean today and then over here, I have all my chiles. So this is what we're gonna be taking out. And that's all I have. There's a spider. A spider. So let's just going to take the, the stove, the stove and the microwave out so we can start getting this area clean. And then um, I'll just start putting everything away. And yeah, I'm excited. Like I've been wanting to do this forever, like for a very long time. Um, but I could never find the little containers, so I'm excited. So these are very cute containers. Just look like that. So I think I'm going to put my my flour or my sugar in here. Huh? Got my little helper over here. What can we put in here? Cause we can also put like the pastas and all that stuff yeah. but like the pastas and stuff i'm not going to do that because when i'm doing my cooking videos and stuff i like to show you guys by package so by me um taking my pastas out you know i'm, I'm not gonna know like i don't know i don't think that's gonna work for me but like for example my rice i can put it because i go by cups i got my rice and then beans huh so we can do that i know all right so after rinsing them we are ready to put our foods so like the big ones because it does come with the two big ones i'm going to use it for cereal so let me put you guys down here yeah 
Okay, so hopefully hopefully these kids can use like the cup, you know to pour it out but, Okay, and these are cool because it has like the little lock like you just push it down, you know, and it locks the, the whole lid okay. So there's one right here. This is gonna go over here Crackers, that could probably go, you know, go No, we're not gonna mess with the crackers okay, So I'm going to use this container for my rice <laughs> And this is five pounds of rice, so I think it should fit in here. Why is everything? This is my favorite rice, by the way. When I say white rice, this is what I'm using. And I have jasmine rice, but to be honest, to me, it's not the same. It's not the same. I try to cook like the same, you know, with the jasmine rice, and for me, it doesn't work. So. So I'm going to use this big one and put my pink of beans. And like the beans, I do, you know, um, clean them as I use them. So, can you give me a scissors though? Okay. I got it. Yeah, it's okay. And it's okay. Um, like I only wanted the the little tags to um, so I can put them on my spices. As for the containers for the food, you know, I don't feel like I need, you know, to know because like I don't need a label, you know, because I know like these are beans, mm -hmm. this is rice, you know what I mean? So. Ooh. Hey. So that's one more with the lid. Oh no. What? Oh, it's a little too much, huh? Mm -hmm. There it goes. Okay. There's another one. Alrighty, guys. So, you know, I needed, I really needed some little jars for my spices because you can see in this drawer, I have a mess. So, that was the whole, you know main reason why i wanted to organize my whole um spices and containers and i'll do all that so i went to michael's and michael's had a 20 percent off coupon for um curbside curbside pickup or whatever uh, i feel like michael's always has some type of coupons anyway so i pick up these little jars let me show you there's little jars can you hold them up let me open it hold on let me show you guys and these were 20 dollars and I feel like they're like, um, hold on, let me open it so I can show you guys. Okay, so there's little jars like this. They come like that. Um, and then they have like a little chalk, um, what is it, like a little chalk label they come with, like that. So you can put, you know, your little label on that. But I saw that they have little stickers, you know, Michaels has everything. So they have these little stickers. Like I said, I didn't want my little jars to be tacky. That's mainly why I didn't do it myself. Um, but they have all the spices on here. So I'm going to just put them on the side. I'm not gonna put them on top just because I don't think that some of them are going to fit. You know, like the nutmeg or like lavender, like the big um, labels. So I'm just going to put them on the side. And I know Walmart has like a little, like a little, uh, like a stool. You know for your spices so i'm gonna have to go and order that so like that i can put my little jars and it'll be easy for me to find them so i'm so excited you know that i was able to find the little jars like that because like i said walmart does have them but they're two dollars each and then uh michael's they have the 20 i think they're 20 they're 18 they're 18 little jars for 20 dollars and then the stickers they are um two dollars but then with the 20 percent off um, I ended up paying $19 for both. So, super cool deal. And I'm just going to transfer like all my, my spices that I have in here. Because I have so much. And they're just a mess. They're just thrown in here. Look at this. And my bay leaves are just thrown everywhere. Um, 
So yeah, so it's going to look nice. So I'm just going to work on this, um, on this drawer first. And I just have all my little jars everywhere. Oh, and let me show you guys what I did for my chiles. I got this little one for my chile de árbol. And then my chiles guajillo. Is it too dark? I have Natalie in the back. My chile guajillo. Uh, my chile, my New Mexico chile. And then my chile ancho. So I need to buy some more of that. And I still have some empty containers. I don't know what I'm going to fill them up with. I got my garlic. So I'm going to be putting them in my cajon. It's a little bit dark. Okay. So let's work on this cajon. And then I'll show you guys. I'm going to put all my spices in my little containers. And then show you guys the final result. So this is the progress that we're making. As you can see, this is a cajon that I had all my spices. And I am the weird one that gets a lot of the salsas from the restaurants, you know. That's what they're... This is where they hang. Um... And all the crushed pepper and parmesan from the pizza. Uh, I think I'm just going to throw everything away in here. I have bay leaves over here somewhere. So I have another thing of bay leaves. So I think this is just going to go in the trash. As you can see, I have all my spices just thrown everywhere. So I'm so happy that I'm finally going to get rid of this. Yeah, so I'm just going to toss it in the trash. And finally can have everything nicely organized. Here I have my little garlic heads. And um... You know, my anchotes, my bouillons, my sazones here. And then, so far, I got all my spices out of there. I still have a little jars. So, I don't know if I'm going to check over here on my spices. And just, you know, go through. Um, I am definitely going to go through them because I know I have, like, multiples in there. And then, you know, they're both open. As you can, like, this one, you can see. They're multiples and they're open. I have... A lot of that because when every time I go to the store I always buy buy without even checking of what I have and see like this one is just a little jar hanging in there that I don't even know what's in here oh and at the end you guys I did ended up putting the little uh, the little tag on the little jar I don't know you can see it hold on okay you can see you probably can't read it but I ended up putting the little tag of the spice and the little jar um i think i mean for the most part they do fit um so i think that's just, i'm just gonna keep it like that and then like on this one you know like the whole black pepper and then the cloves i mean obviously i know what they are so i don't need a tag on them so that's fine so i'm just gonna go through all my spices over here and then just clean up my my um my cabinet and then show you guys what it looks like after all right guys so a brand new stove and microwave just got here um they installed the stove but of course the microwave we have to um do it ourselves mm -hmm. and let me tell you i am so excited <laughs> you guys ready to see it are you guys ready i don't know if i should show you guys once the microwave is on because right now it looks not so good okay mm -hmm. so should we wait yeah, they should, should we wait, wait? Should i wait. think we're going to wait so I'm going to show you guys that as soon as, you know, Luis puts the microwave together. But let me tell you. <sighs> it has two of the... I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Yesterday we didn't finish till very late. So um, I didn't, you know, finish vlogging. But let me show you guys what my new oven stove and microwave look like. Because I am so excited. It seriously makes a big difference. A big difference, you know. Um, that it kind of motivates me to just renew the whole kitchen seriously uh, like I said I'm going to be getting my fridge in the next couple months um, so like that you can match with the set over here but let me show you guys are you guys ready are you guys ready <laughs> voila look at this this is a new stove and it's a double oven so like that you know I think it's only gonna come handy for like the holidays you know so like that I can have two separate things baking at the same time that's what the oven looks like super clean <laughs> um and then you know like my little my little uh, knobs they're over here in the front which that makes it so convenient you know for my cooking videos and then we have four ranges or five so i think that's what they call right the yeah so we have two big ones let me show you guys so you guys can see them because i know you can't see them like that so that's a warming zone so like that if we can stay um hot let me show you guys so see so it has 
The big one, these two are big, so they're bigger. I don't know how to use it yet. I think that's what you do. Right? Ultra heat. I think that's what you do. So yeah, so that's what the stove looks like. And over here we have all the settings for... Oh, you can't see it. I know, you guys can't probably see anything. But I'm pretty sure you guys are going to see it in the videos. Um, but just right here we have all like to clean the oven. The self-clean. And then just the whole settings for the oven. Um, and then the microwave is just, you know, your basic microwave. Um, just like that. Voila! I always try to keep my uh, microwave clean either way so the, the thing that I was having a problem was with my oven on my previous stove so I'm going to you know do the best to keep up and keep it clean um, because it is pricey <laughs> but yeah so this is our new uh, stove this is where you guys are gonna see me cooking you know in all my cooking videos so I am excited that's just what it looks like like that let me show you guys as you can see it does make a difference you know how my my um my kitchen everything else how it looks it kind of <laughs> i just can't wait i just need an updated kitchen period oh and also let me show you guys the storage my cabinets so that's what my new cabinets look like everything is nicely organized so on the top i just push i just push i just push push <laughs> i just put my sugars so you like just my sugars uh, my brown sugar my powdered sugar and then cornstarch breadcrumbs and just mainly like baking stuff on top and over here i have my flour my masa um and i did ended up putting the macaroni noodles in one of these things i ended up um measuring you know from the packet so it's about a cup and a half so like i kind of have an idea now and then next to it i just put my jasmine rice and then my regular rice and then over here i have all my chiles uh, you guys can't probably see because of the glare sorry about that um but i just have my chiles in here and then just like that my chile de arbol and just that. next to it i have like my sazon um my chicken bouillon and my salt and these are just like my sauces uh my vanillas these are just like my main you know like the main things that i use on a daily so i have that and let me show you guys okay i'll show you guys over here my cabinet or in my drawer where i put all my spices in here i just push i just put all the spices um that i use on a daily so it makes it easy you know for me to pick them like that and then back there i just put my little sazones and my garlics and more sazon my chicken bouillons and these are just like extra uh like taco seasonings you know for those lazy days um just the chile powder new mexico chile powder and i was so excited when i found this because like i said new mexico chile are my favorite um so it was super cool that i found it in powder but yeah that's just that and then my black pepper and these are where i put all my parmesan and my red peppers and that's all we have there and then on the second drawer i just put all the extra spices and then the extras you know just all the extras in there and then over here in this drawer here i have all my baking and my like my baking and my um spreads my cajetas you know just jelly and all like coconut almonds my coffee my cocos and just all my little food coloring sprinkles and all that that's just for my baking um sorry guys and then on this over here oops over here we just have i have all my pastas on top and just like the stuff that i really don't use you know and then like the spaghetti and the fettuccine i just put it there because you know those are just like what i use on um, most of the time um and then over here i just have my more pastas my white instant white rice that oh instant white rice white rice that lewis you know he's the one that uses that i normally don't cook i don't cook that just because i don't like my rice to have no flavor so that's that um so next we have just pasta and oh there's just more stuff back there more rice oh sorry 
And over here I have just my, my sopitas, you know, those lazy days. Just that makes it easy for Louis to make them for the kids or whatever. And then just have more baking, um, shortening my lard, more masa, tamal, and all that stuff. And then like I said, over here I just have all my canned goods. My must have those spinach. I don't even know why we had that. I think that's when Louis was trying to be healthy. Um more tuna, chicken broth, and these are just my you know, I, I normally don't cook with tomato sauce, but sometimes when I don't have tomatoes, it's good to have them. Um, I got just my favorite um, Alfredo sauce, you know, those lazy days. This is the go-to. Um, yeah, when you don't want to make it yourself, that's the best one out there. And as well for my spaghetti, my spaghetti sauce. This is the only one I buy. Um, nacho sauce. And I... I'm kind of giving you guys like a little hole of my pantry, but this is like just my pantry, you know, that I, I always need to have my cremas, you know, my cremas, my condensed milk, um, lecheras, that's a must to, for me to have, um, and this, just like that, some beans, enchiladas, my favorite my favorite green enchilada sauce in a can that's the only one that you will ever catch me buying or making uh, because that's the, like the best one that's very similar to homemade um, but yeah that's my pantry oops so oh and then the beans i did ended up putting them in one of these big containers oh just this big container here oh uh, and then the cereal i did put it in one container but I think I'm going to just go and buy the containers that I made, especially, hi Bubba's, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to buy the, the containers that are made specially for um, the cereal, you know, so like that. It makes it easy for the kids to grab it and want not. Anyways, you guys, so I think we're just going to end the vlog here. I seriously hope you guys had enjoyed watching today's video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Um, let me know in the comments down below, you know, what you think of... Um, I don't know, just just your thoughts, your sweet thoughts. I enjoyed reading them. And also, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. Eres perfecta mujer. De la cabeza a los pies. Tú pasas de mi nivel. Tú tienes el pie. De la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami De la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami Eres